you move? We need the TV. Is this, is this a coven? No, we're watching the news. Now get out of the way. We had a bottle of wine and a joint at Bonnie's house, and we want to watch Dallas Portland before the buzz wears off. You chicken heads are out of control. Yoga for men? Yes, says the inventor of Broga. I'm here in his studio above the Petco to see if I want a namaste for the whole class. <laughs> oh, I guess he's handsome and funny. Oh, I feel like I'm cheating on Tom Bergeron. That's who you're all excited about? That chiseled Adonis with eyes the color of summer's first blueberry? I don't know about none of that, but look at that bulge in his shorts. I've never seen a bulge in the front of a man's pants before. You see that, Peter? That's the right amount of leg hair. My leg hair's fine. I have what they call the Irish wisp. So, Peter, where are your boyfriends tonight? I don't know. Where are yours? What the f did you just say? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, so I, I'm just... I'm not myself tonight. Lois and all of her friends are drooling over that new news guy. That Dallas Portland's a jerk. Don't even say that name. Tom Tucker? What are you doing here? Getting out of that windstorm that screwed up my hair and loosened my tie, but also trying to forget how mad I am at Dallas Portland. You and me both, pal. That Dallas guy sucks. Why, what's your problem with him? Eh, my wife's been creaming her spinach over him. Yeah, tell me about it. Since he arrived, our ratings have skyrocketed. They're grooming Dallas, which means I'm on my way out. What? We can't let that happen. If that guy becomes the anchor, every night he's gonna be... <laughs> hey! Sorry, I still get a little dizzy from the train. But if Dallas Portland's on TV every night, my life's gonna be a living hell! You and me both. Without the news, I... I don't know who I am. But what can you do? He's the flavor of the month. But wait a minute. Maybe if we work together, we can solve both our problems. What do you mean? Well, if he's the hot young thing and everybody loves him, all we gotta do is make you hotter and younger and thinner. And then they won't need him. Well, how are we supposed to do that? Just trust me. When I set my mind to something, anything's possible. That's how I got myself on The Voice. I'm doing this for my mother, who taught me to sing when I was only seven. She was my biggest inspiration, and she was taken from me when I was 12 in a fatal car accident. She was my rock, my beacon, and this one, this one's for her. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Yeah, almost time for the news. Mind if I join you? I thought you hated the news. Developing story. <laughs> I like it now. <laughs> okay. Good evening, Quahog. I'm Dallas Portland. And I'm T. Homie, with the news in your mouth! What the hell's he doing? He's crushing it. Okay, Tom. Uh, our top story tonight, a burst water pipe in the pediatric unit of Quahog General results in the tragic drowning deaths of four children and one nurse. News bomb! <laughs> I know what you're thinking, right? He's so random. Boy, I never realized how young and hip Tom Tucker is. Dallas Portland should just pack it up and go home. What are you talking about? Wait, wait, quiet, quiet. Tom's about to tattoo the word Coachella on the bridge of his nose. Is that a thing? Uh, I don't know, Grandma. I sit back and walk. Ah, oh, he got his eye. God. What's wrong with you, Dallas? Never seen a guy so young and cool before. <coughs> Tumblr! I've just received some breaking news. Channel 5 news anchor Tom Tucker has been relieved of his duties effective immediately. Holy crap, they fired him? Oh, my God. Oh, well, now back to my life. Bear scares. We'll be back after a message from state-run industry. Shirt.gov. Shirt.gov.